morning everybody welcome back I know it's been a while since I've been on here and I just thought I would share with you quickly what I've been doing lately what's been keeping me preoccupied um, I recently joined you've probably seen the challenge that's going around um, by Ann Brooke and here is the uh, challenge the 52 tags uh, I recently joined that, and I posted um, these on Instagram, if you follow me on there. But I thought, well, I'll do a quick um, little video for those of you who aren't on Instagram. So the first, um, what it is, is you do a, a tag each week. Um, and this is related to, like, the slow stitching. So I'm just getting into that. Um, I started a few projects a while back but I haven't completed anything so I thought this would be a really fun challenge that um, isn't too stressful that I think I can cope with um, just creating one tag a week for the year so I think it's going to be really nice because at the end I'll end up with um, a nice little collection and hopefully I'll see progress uh, in my stitching th you know over the course of the year so Week one is white, um, so this is my first tag here, and again, you know, it's it's just very simple. I'll try to give you a close-up on some of these. Um, you know, everything white on this, and I really enjoyed it. I like um, the fact that I've got a, a little bit of some really pretty bits of lace that um, I'm getting low on so it's kind of a nice way that I can hang on to something and it's what I've joined really enjoyed about it is it's finally doing you know taking some time doing something for myself because I'm generally creating journals for other people and Although I've promised myself I'm going to make myself a journal, I just never seem to get around to it. So I thought, well, this is a great way to do something for me. And uh, I'll have to say I, I've enjoyed it a lot. So on the back, I've just titled what the week was, um, just as a little reminder. And I think I'll go back and add um, the hashtag and Anne's name you know, so that down the road I can remember back what it was about. So week two was a heart. Now this process, um, I showed you guys, and I'll list, I'll link below the tutorial to this, um, how to make these, um, pieces of fabric out of all your little scraps using that embroidery stabilizer. So um, this was a great way for me to use that. As you can see, I've just cut out the little heart here and then I just uh, slow stitch with some embroid embroidery thread um, around the heart just to make it stand out a little bit more and just backed it on scraps. <coughs> this is another reason I'm enjoying this is it gives me the opportunity to just use up little bits of scrap that I've got um, in my scrap drawer <laughs> that just seems to, to keep growing and growing. I never seem to deplete that drawer. <laughs> so that was week two. I could just give you a little close up. I, and yeah, you know, I look at it and like, oh, you know, I see places where I can improve on, but that's okay. I, I'm really trying to stop. Um, getting everything right from the get-go and, and learn that it's going to take time. Um, week three is scrappy. Now her um, tutorial that she did was much, much more involved um, than this tag, but I'll be honest, I um, watched a couple of videos um, on how to do that process and I knew I would not complete it. Very time intensive and I just knew I wouldn't so I just um, use scraps and um, I'm okay with that you know I don't know if, it, if the rules are hard and fast but I hope that that's okay so I just did a little stitching across there and here and then I just 
stitch this little, it's very old um, lace, and it was like a, they had cut off like the bottom of a sleeve, and I acquired that, I don't know, probably been two years now at a little thrift store, and I just wanted to add that, and then here I just added another little bit of um, old vintage, and then an old button, so yeah, really happy with how that came out, and that like said, that sweet three, it was a scrappy tag. Um, her, do check out her <coughs> version of the scrappy tag, it is super cool. And it would be amazing to do it. And hopefully at some point in the future I will be able to do this. Now, week four is all I'm up to. And this is the fly stitch. And these are all new to me. Um, the embroidery work. Uh, I've dabbled in the slow stitching, like I said. But nothing with specific stitches. So this is another reason I wanted to join this because I've been thinking uh, more and more about getting into um, some of these samplers with the embroidery work. I just I just think they're beautiful. I like the idea of going forward having that kind of project for you know when I'm in the car or um, when I'm traveling back home on the flight. It's a long flight and you think it would be so nice to have a little project that I could work on. So it's, I, I assume this is a pretty basic stitch since she's incorporated and having done it, I, I, I was surprised how um, quickly I picked it up and I'm very happy with it. This was a bit of the Liberty of London fabric I had left and it was just perfect. I didn't even have to trim it down. I was like, oh, this, it was made for this tag. <laughs> And I love it because I love the colors very much like an autumn um, color palette. And then just, you know, like a couple of little vines growing up or maybe like a fern or something. And then this little bit, and this was a little bitty wood button that I, f I found in my stash. And then just some little seam binding that I had crinkled up. So I think this is probably my favorite of all of them because of the colors in it. So, um, and like I said, that was week four of the, of the fly stitch. So as you can see, I've already got all of my tags cut out. Um, and that was another thing. I think she used store-bought tags, if I'm not mistaken. But I have so many... Um, bits of cardstock. I just made my own and I had also seen that somebody else said that you know the really small tags were um, difficult to work in a small space so I kind of went with um, small to medium size. Um, let me see if I can show you. Mine are about just under four inches by two and uh, that that seems to be a nice bit to work with out because it's not too large that you've got a lot of space to fill but um, it's not you know too difficult in that size so that's that's what I've been doing for for me and um, you know something that's just enjoyable for myself so I just thought I'd share with you guys that and I will put a link to the tutorial on how to do this scrappy fabric if you're interested in that take a look and I will hopefully be back um, what I'll probably do is rather than coming on every week I'm probably going to leave it till I've got three or four tags to show you guys um, that way I can just do it all in one video. It just saves a little bit of time for me on the editing. So, anyways, that's all I had to share. I hope everybody is safe and well. And um, take care of yourselves. And I'll be back soon. Bye.